टूल नंबर थ्री दिस टूल इज फोकस्ड ऑन एड्रेसिंग समथिंग डीप सीटेड विच इज नॉट कमिंग अप और इज कवर्ड अप बाय a lighter version of something else situation can be the patient complains of being hurt by those around a huge amount of bottled up sadness inside the patient talks about sadness repeatedly often he weeps also and yet the corresponding relief and healing that we want is not happening this is the situation in which although you are talking about sadness you feel some sadness is being released and yet the quantum of relief and long term healing that you wish and you anticipate should have happened is not happening that is the situation in which this intervention can be useful the intervention would be we have been looking at events and emotions for quite some long time now and yet there is a feeling that something deep seated something very difficult remains untouched unaddressed can we take a look at that deep seated pain deep inside of you this will tell the person that while he is talking about pain there is some other deep seated pain deep inside very different from what he is talking about so he may be talking about something painful which has happened in the last week but compared to something which is deep inside which may have been there for a long time and in volume and intensity much higher than what has happened last week what has happened last week is far less significant for relief and healing compared to the deep seated pain and when the deep seated pain is actually addressed the type of crying that you see is very different the man weeps actually from the depth of his bones which is very different from a regular weeping which does not happen from the depth of the bones so there is a weeping which is regular and there is a weeping which is deep and the regular weeping may not be giving the type of relief and healing that we want which after some sessions we realize only deep seated pain release can help us achieve those objectives and for that we realize that this sorrow of the weak is becoming a defense even though it is important and it is significant for the person it's also becoming a defense and we have to put it aside and take a closer look at the deep seated pain which may have been there for many years maybe even from early childhood so this intervention helps us to bring into focus that deep seated pain and once we keep repeating the deep seated pain it becomes clear to the person that we are referring to some other pain than what he is referring to and that is much deeper and much intense and far more important for his healing than the current pain he is referring to and working on so 
this phrase deep seated is very important we can refer to deep seated pain in some other cases where the person has bouts of weeping but he doesn't feel fresh or healed after bouts of weeping which means the bouts of weeping are only a defense covering up anger in that situation we say can we take a, a look at the deep seated anger which is below and deeper than this sadness that is making you weep can we take a closer look at something which is deeper and more fundamental can we take a deeper look at the deep seated anger below this sadness so the intervention there would be can we take a deep seated can we take a look at the deep seated x below this y and that is how you can bypass the y which is which looks like affect release but actually it's a defense covering up a more difficult affect so this is the intervention for something deep seated which is avoided in various ways and one of the most confusing ways can be affect release which appears like catharsis but actually is a defense to avoid the really deep seated difficult feeling whose catharsis is actually needed for relief and lasting healing thank you apply this tool and let me know if you get into any confusion any difficulty thank you